Okay, I did my project on leisure in the 1940s. One activity people liked to do in the 1940s was bowling. Lots of families would go and hang out there, and they'd go and bowl. They also liked to dance. Um, three main types of dances in the 1940s were the rumba, the swing, and jazz. The rumba was um, a ballroom dance. It was very passionate. They like swirled their hips a lot and um, looked pretty saucy. It had Latin roots. And the swing was a uh, dance that was originated in the black community, but then it became a white middle class dance, kind of like the jitterbug. But the couples had to be synced perfectly for it to even look cool. And the jazz was just kind of the normal dance of the time. Um, the sports they watched in the 1940s were basketball and baseball. Um, but during the 1940s, there was World War II, so half of the decade, uh, some sports lost athletes to the draft. But um, basketball didn't because the players were all too tall to be eligible for war. So um, basketball stayed the same through the whole decade. But baseball, uh, some players had to go into the draft, but after the war, it was um, it started catching steam again. And one of the famous players was Jackie Robinson. He was the first African American to play in the major leagues. Um, most people supported him, but there were some people that didn't like him, and they'd boo him when he would go up to bat. And some players didn't even like him. Like one player from St. Louis uh, purposely spiked him, and he gave him a seven-inch gash on him. Um, but with the war, it made shortages in rubber and wood because they needed to send those overseas. So balls had to be made differently and the bats were harder to come by. Uh, in the 1940s, people read books. Uh, a lot of good books came out in the 1940s that we read in high school, like Animal Farm by George Orwell, uh, Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, Grapes of Wrath. Um, and also a book came out called The Little Prince that I read in sixth grade and I actually really liked it. It was kind of weird, but um, it was like about a prince that moved to the moon and made friends with an elephant. Um, and then a book that got a lot of interest in the 1940s, it was in 1947, it's called Sexual Behaviors of a Human Male by Alfred Kingsley. And it got a lot of attention from all the major magazines and it became a New York seller, New York bestseller. And it was filled with uh, like percents of Americans that had sex, premarital sex and affairs and stuff like that. And then it was like such a hit that the author made a second book in 1951 called Sexual Behaviors of a Human Female. Um, toys were also pretty big in 1940. There was two main ones that came out. There was Silly Putty and the Slinky. And the Silly Putty was made by a guy named James Wright. And it was originally made for the war. They made the putty and he hoped that it could be used for something, but they never found a use for it. And he just had all this extra putty, so he sold it to this like toy lady, and she got advertising for it, and it became really big because you could roll it up into a ball, and it bounced higher than rubber. And um, the main thing about it was you could flatten it out, and then like put it on a comic, and it would copy the thing when you pulled it off. And the slinky was also made in the war. A guy named Richard James, he was working in the Navy, and he had tension springs but he dropped one and it fell down some stairs and that's where he got the idea from so he started a steel company when he got back home with his wife and they made the slinky in the 1940s people played a lot of board games um, some board games that became popular were shoots and ladders candy land monopoly and clue uh, in shoots and ladders it uh, came to the u.s in 1943 and it teaches children morals and consequences like if they do something bad, then they go down the slides, but if they do something good, they get rewarded and go up the ladders and get them closer to winning. And in Candyland, it was created by a lady named Eleanor Abbott, and she invented the board game for kids um, to help them recovering from polio, because polio was a big problem back then. And Monopoly was made by another lady named uh, Elizabeth Maggie, and she made it in 1904, but then it started to catch on in the 1940s. 
And there's a favorite game of uh, the soldiers in the war. They played it in their downtime, but it is also used to smuggle things in like escape maps, compasses, files, and even money into the prisoner of war's camps to help people escape. And the major like game maker back then was uh, the Parker Brother Corporation. And then some movies came out in 1940, like Fantasia, which I thought was the most boring movie ever. It's a Wonderful Life, Macbeth, Hamlet, and The Spiral Staircase, which was like a horror movie. And so yeah, that's what people did in the 1940s.